Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. I hope you guys are having a good one. I've got a 16 by 20 inch black canvas in front of me and a desire to be frivolous and play with my chain. But first of all, I have to find a nice dry spatula from OXO, which is my go-to tool and my glasses behind me. I get going a little, a little ahead of myself once in a while. So the black paint I'm adding to the canvas is just to help facilitate the next paint I add to, uh, to flow more easily. And I don't really want a heavy layer, but I need enough to make the paint that I add move. When I add a chain in there, I think I'm going to have to put some more in there. So this is the best paint spreading sp spatula around, in my opinion, and uh, I recommend them highly. And you can ask anybody who's got one and they'll do the same. And they're available on the Amazon link below Show More underneath the video. And if you shop there, I know I didn't cost you, it helps me out. And that's very much appreciated. Thank you guys very much for all the support you've given me in 2019 and hopefully continue to do so in 2020 to keep me painting. And you have. Not only that, you've kept my morale boosted when things got very strange. And they're still kind of strange. But um, I'm here for you guys. And I do sell my artwork, so if, uh, if that's an option at some point in time and you fall in love with something, just know you're helping support the studio and the videos by making a purchase. I also teach classes at the house in Spring Hill. I am going to wipe that spatula off and on my damp rag and grab some chain, put some things out of the way. And I want to do a bunch of stuff, and I think what I'm going to start to do is grab some gold. Uh, maybe not the biggest bottle. And this, these are definitely experiments. So why don't I start with my smaller chain, since number 10 chain was something I found on the side of the road. So I like the three dots. Let's go for five. I don't mind the gold on there. I might need a longer chain. Or to do it again. When I do stuff again, it's kind of cool because I find out all kinds of new stuff. I want some of this right here. So this is just strictly self-indulgent. And it's sort of like painting with chain. I'm going to grab another couple of dots of that. Folk art turquoise. So my little mark that looks like a mistake can be made to go away. I want to try my magenta. Where do I want to try it? I wanted to keep putting down different configurations. I, what I really want to do is combine things. And I have longer chain and I might want to use it. I'm going to wrap it around from the bottom all the way around the top. And then pull. And I think I want to do that in the other direction also, because it might turn out looking a little like a flower form, which would be okay with me. Come on, off you come. There you go. Now, where'd my white go? There it is. Try and get some of my stuff out of the way. You can pick these up at any point in time. You can just use the end.
I do have fun doing this. This is definitely therapeutic for me. It's kind of fun too if you make up your colors in advance, which I kind of wish I had done, and use my little spoons, which are on the Amazon link. Because uh, if you've got one of those silicone ice cube trays, then you can just scoop it out, put a little dollop down. I don't know what this is going to be like. I'm nervous. Sometimes I'm just going to have to compose straight up. Hey, that, that could have been a lot worse. I thought that that was going to be really muddy for a minute. I like the idea that I have some colors on my chain I can use. I might even put green stems in this one if it comes out looking like anything. Stop. Stop moving. <laughs> cool. So far so good. I'm going to put a bunch of white down because I want one of my purple flowers. I'm not using any specific formula yet. Maybe someday I'll figure it out. Maybe someday I'll get some blue, because blue is fun too. I'm just playing with shapes. I'm going to lay that right down in the center. I'm going to go that way. And then I'm going to try and go that way too. A little muddy, but really not bad at all. This could take me all of 20 minutes because I'm just going slow and relaxing. I have some colors in my cup. <laughs> They're pretty. They're not doing much for me. Come out, come out, come out. Curiosity. Yes, I know, it killed the cat. <laughs> I'll let that try and drain down. I kind of want a new piece of chain. Maybe that's a good idea. And I'm going to throw some red in there, I think. Am I? Yes, I am. I want a longer piece of chain, and I got one. I kind of want some gold in there too before it's too late. Now maybe if I go from this side, Just making funky shapes is a ball, <laughs> I gotta say. I specifically like that gold in there, and I think there should be a lot more. This is a lot like the feather 
the two feather paintings that I've done. I want some more gold and I'm not afraid to use it. Am I? <laughs> Maybe I am. I originally wanted to do this with white. Just white and see how far I could take the whole process. How about from the other direction? And one more. <laughs> Perfect. Very cool. It's time to try the white. Try it right on top of something that I'm not super thrilled with. I'll wrap it right around and pull it down. And that worked okay. I'm going to try it the other direction. And lift. Okay, more of that. And maybe some gold too. Yeah, I really feel like I should do just a dots on canvas painting someday. I also want to combine other color combinations, like that blue. Maybe that's not what I want right there, right now. So if I wind it this way... So that way goes that way. So counterclockwise goes in the opposite direction. I do, I just want to put some uh, some green stems in there. I got like a couple of minutes left, which is not what I'd call really a lot of time. But I guess there's a couple minutes after that. And I think that I can do that. I want one more. I'm wicked dyslexic sometimes, so trying to get myself to go in the right direction is really hard. So if I go like that, I pull that way. So if I go like Nope, wrong again. It's okay, it's still neat.
there. I like that. That's pretty cool. I need to find some purple. And maybe I'll come back for part two. Maybe I won't. <laughs> we'll see. Yep, spoons next time. So this is the end of one part one, and uh, I should tell you whatever I'm going to be able to find time to tell you, which is if you shop my Amazon link, you help me out. I think I mentioned that, actually. And if you like my video, that really helps me out. Give me a thumbs up. I think I want to steal some paint from over here. Cool. It looks a lot more like flowers than last time. So I love you guys. There's almost 85,000 of you if I'm lucky. Because <laughs> I have no idea really anymore. And I'm just going to keep playing with this until time runs out and tell you guys I sell my artwork. And uh, I teach classes at the house in Spring Hill. Underneath the video you can find my paint pouring recipe. And you can also find Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Oh, that's a nice combination. That's a really nice combination. I like that. If you share my videos, that's a big assistance to me. If you watch the videos longer, that's an assistance to me. If you are interested in finding a Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery for fans and collectors is for fans and collectors. I actually got that one right. And let's see, what else can I tell you? I think I want to take that right there and add a little something something to it. I have playlists on my channel where you can find 11, 11 genres and nine or ten lists of a hundred each. I want some dark purple in there. And maybe a little something else. Oh, spattered. What else can I tell you? Um, <laughs> I can't focus at all right now because I'm having too much fun. So forgive me. And I'm going to go ahead and use that color combination I like. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, I love you guys. Come again. Community board or Facebook will tell you that I have a video tomorrow. Bye now.